Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I'm gonna take your Notion library to another level. So those of you that read books, I'm gonna make a Notion library that is gonna knock your socks off. So if we go in here, just call this a book library. We're gonna use the wonderful world of sync blocks to make this absolutely insane. So first and foremost, we're gonna make this a full width page and then do a slash synced block some text in there, drag another block next to it, make a new database here, just call it books. And in this database, we're gonna have two different views, gallery view, and then we're gonna have a table view. So the different things that we need to have property wise, author property, gonna have a status property, which is a select. And the options for that are gonna be now reading, up next, unfinished, finished, and then one called unread. Then there's a couple way that, ways that you can do this ratings wise. What I'm gonna do is do a rating and then make it a select option. And all you gotta do is Go here and put an emoji for stars. So I'll put one star, two, and then etc. through however many you think makes sense on your scale. Then we can put content medium, which essentially says, how do you own this? So select, we can make this a audiobook, Kindle, physical. We could put a URL here too, whether it be the Audible book or the Kindle book or where you could buy it. Then you're going to go here and press new. Make a template. We're gonna drag something in from my old template here. I'll give you a quick glance at what all this is so that you could recreate it. So there was a start here section, book section, and then some summaries that you could put in here. Uh, this is originally inspired by Jeff Sue's book template, so I will caveat with that. Then one last property you could put, if you would like, is a date, it could be release date of when the book came out. And as well, if you wanna do different Categories, you can make a category here, the select, do personal finance, philosophy, self-help, health and wellness, entrepreneurship, and then productivity as some examples. Then you could organize this a little bit to make the sizing whatever you'd want it to be. And then this gallery view then would change to the layout is a gallery view. And I would say medium size is pretty good. Then you can do fit image. And what we're going to do here is we have two options. Either you can paste in what you want the book cover to be, or you could do a property, which should be a file attachment. And then we just call this book cover. And then in here, we would want, we could hide this book cover, no need for that in the view. And if we go back here, you could either have the card preview be the page content or the book cover. I like having the book cover, it makes it easier to keep those organized. But what we could do as a preface, since this is the main database, is filter this to a couple different things. So in this section, we're gonna make a couple different ones. So if we copy this link and just paste book library in here, link to page, or we can put something like home here with text and hyperlink that thing and put a divider add a little bit more spacing for ourselves so that we'd get theoretically around four across with it looking pretty good then we could make pages that look just like this over and over again but then filter by the different things that we have here like status category maybe even content medium as well so i'm going to put slash gray text to make this consistent we can do a sort by and bold this divide it up do a slash gray text as well do status then we could put slash gray again do categories bold it on divider again and do content medium so then all you would have to do here is make a bunch of pages in this sync block that fit with the different ones that we've made here so for example in the sort by ones it would be not filtered by anything it'd just be sorted so if i did slash page here hold this title the first one's going to be very important and then from after that it's actually going to be pretty easy what we do here is take two sides just like before copy the link from this sync block paste it in here make it so that it's like the same size copy a link here paste it in and then create a new view that'd be pulling it from the books then you do a table view here and then do table view all then you could sort this by the title then you do another sort here by the title and then all you'd have to do is go back out here duplicate this page change this to author sort by author and then do the same thing for two other ones, which could be category and even rating. Then all you'd be doing for the next two is doing the exact same thing, but for the proper name, that's the title of the page. And then another option you can do is duplicate one of them. And let's duplicate that one. 
then go through and do it based on the status. But not, instead of doing the sorting, you can just have it be sorted by name by default and then do the statuses. So this one is gonna be called currently reading. You're gonna just kind of filter this. My status is now reading. Do the same thing over here. Then you can duplicate this, go into this page and do up next and do it again. Do that for finished. Duplicate one of these, bring it down to the content medium section. Do the exact same thing, but for the content medium. So change the filter to where content medium is an audiobook. Duplicate these as well for Kindle and for physical copies of books. And you could take one of these ones and then do the same exact thing for the different categories. So productivity would be filtered, the category, productivity, and then whatever categories that you feel would make sense in this. So then now we'd easily be able to shuffle through almost any view that we'd want based on the different parts that make this system work for us. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this on Notion, check out this one. You'll like it.